Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I am making a video on something that's been on my mind for a while. If you are thinking about getting into the HVAC trade and maybe even refrigeration, uh, I wanted to dedicate this video to you or maybe you know somebody that is thinking about getting into HVAC and I want to give you five reasons why you should get into HVAC or refrigeration. And I made them close to being about the same thing, refrigeration and air conditioning, which is part of HVAC because uh, literally the same components that are in an air conditioner are also in a refrigerator or a walk-in freezer or a chiller so you can really compare those and some tools you're gonna to be a little bit different some processes are gonna be a little bit different but generally speaking uh, you could make easily a transition from air conditioning to refrigeration and vice versa I've seen it done uh, by many people so with that being said let's hop right into it uh, the first one probably even the most important the demand is super super high right now and it's only going to stay that way and I don't see it ever going back to the way things used to be where you know everybody and their uncle was doing air conditioning and heating right that is a thing of the past we if you were in high school if you're a millennial and you went to high school in the United States and maybe even anywhere else but I'm, I'm saying United States because this is where I went to school you we were told that you need to go to university you need to go to college so that's what everybody was put into their head to do and it wasn't even really mentioned like oh you should become you should get into a trade not once did any of my teachers ever tell me hey you should get into a trade you know never they all said go to university go to a college so that created what's going on now which is the demand is super super high and it's gonna stay that way pretty much um, for another 50 to 100 years I do not see it changing I could be wrong let me know in 50 years if I was wrong with high demand in the same column comes high wages so I'm seeing wages for um, that I have never seen before they are super super high right now and again they're only gonna go up higher and higher okay so you could be a journeyman air conditioning guy and make the same um, as an engineer with a bachelor's degree okay I know personally multiple multiple guys that are making more money than you know engineers with bachelor's degrees that they paid top dollar for at whatever university they went to so that's that number two um, the roof is super high okay so the roof is almost endless okay there are so very so many various branches that you can get into I'll give you an example I started uh, putting air conditioners and heaters as well as ductwork exhaust fans dryer venting water heaters in brand new homes that's where I started okay so that is one branch and those were cookie cutter homes so they're all they all look the same just the same thing every single day you didn't talk to customers you didn't see anybody you didn't see you only saw other maybe plumbers and other AC guys then after that then there's replacements so you can get into replacing air conditioners right of existing homes already um, you can do modifications to remodels right you can do custom homes you can be a service guy you just change filters and other things but you check you know minimal things in here and there but you're a service guy and then there's diagnostic technicians there's a gigantic gigantic roof not to mention business managing or managing you know other technicians the roof is just huge you know and that is never going to be a problem for you if you're trying to get higher and higher and higher 
Okay, so with that being said, that's not even me mentioning what I said earlier, the refrigeration side of it. Every grocery store that you go to has refrigerators, right? That is a ton, a ton of money invested in produce, in meat, in cheese, and whatever they need to keep cold. If that thing breaks down, they're going to call a company to come out and fix it immediately. That pays top dollar. So if a you know restaurant um, that has ten thousand dollars worth of you know ribeye steaks, for an example, right? If it goes out in the middle of the night, they're going to call you in the middle of the night. And those guys I know get paid two hundred and fifty dollars just to show up in where I live. Okay, 250 bucks just to show up because it's an emergency. So, so many roofs. The roof is just tremendously high. Okay, I don't personally do that because I like to sleep. So, but I know that's just an example of guys that do that. Number three, a lot of people want to start their own business. This is a great business opportunity for people that want all the responsibility and they want to do the work themselves, you get it, okay? It's fairly common that I see it all the time that a guy will work in a company for a while and say, you know what, I don't want to work for the company anymore, I want to do my own thing. I see it done like every single year I see somebody do it, okay? So it's going on everywhere. Great if you want to start your own business. Okay, number four. This one is going to be it's true in some cases and not some other cases. It's going to be very, you know, it's going to depend on the company. So the background is optional. No one cares or not everybody cares of what type of work you've done in the past. Um, if you were straight out of high school like I was, I was 18, 19, I was like 19 years old when I got into HVAC your background or your work experience does not matter what matters is your drive your motivation and how you know responsible you are so I'll give you an example uh, I was 19 years old when I started the apprenticeship program I uh, I don't want to get into number five but okay it went straight out of straight out of high school um, they didn't care what I did for work before in high school. They didn't care that I mowed lawns and washed cars in high school. They didn't care about that. I saw people when I was getting hired that used to work at banks, okay? Guys that were tellers, you know, they worked at banks. Uh, some guys were straight out of air conditioning school. They were coming out, and they were right there with, with me, okay? So nobody cares. Taxi drivers, guys. That's how the, the that's how high the demand is. They do not care about your background or your work experience before you get here. And I saw me being me and another guy when I started. I remember when it was me and another 19 year old that were starting. He took a one year course at some college for air conditioning, and everybody else it was such a mixed bag. You know, 30 year olds, 40 year olds, 50 year olds. It does not matter. You're not too young. Well. Keep it legal, right? 18, right? You are not too young. And personally, I've seen guys come in as they're in at their late 50s. Okay, I got a buddy that I brought into the business, and he's in his mid 50s, and he's doing pretty darn good for himself. So your background is optional, okay? And then number five, and this is mainly, and I don't know how I feel about this, but I just want to throw that out there that no schooling is required at all okay so pretty much any solid company will take you in with no schooling as long as you understand that you need to work you need to be motivated and that they will pay for your schooling and that they will pay for your tests and they will pay for all your classes as long as you're motivated so me personally that's what I did I did not do no, any schooling at all. I did the appro apprenticeship program, um, and then they paid for classes, and they paid for uh, trainings, and they paid for tests, and all that for me to get certified. 
you ha so you do not have to pay for anything really you know and it was pretty cool that I was a, an apprentice getting paid and a hundred percent of the time that I was in a classroom I was also getting paid so that was just like a win-win it was a no-brainer okay not saying you don't have to go to school if you want to if you you know have a GI Bill if you have you know financial assistance and all that and you want to do that go ahead you know but I can tell you right now that it is not required and I'll give you an example the guy that went to schooling uh, with me when we were both 19 he went to a school and it was actually one of the more expensive schools that I know that I know of and I asked him and unless he lied to me he told me what his wage was and we were making the the exact same amount because he had zero experience I had zero experience he had zero experience and he did have a certificate so it did not matter to the employer um, so that's pretty much it and I can definitely tell you that if you are certified with zero experience you are not going to be as sought after as if you were had maybe a year or two of experience um, with zero schooling okay just it's not even like not even close to being on the same level they will completely you know um, go for the guy that's got experience even if he doesn't have any schooling so that's it um, those are the notes I had I made the video because it's been on my mind a lot and this is really I want people to know that if you are young or even you know slightly older you know middle-aged 50s and you're in you do have to be in good shape I would say if you're in decent shape you consider yourself to be a go-getter um, and you are looking for a job that is not boring it's not an office job nothing all office jobs are boring but if you find being in an office boring then this is it this is it for you L please like and subscribe uh, let your friends and family know share this video with you know if you're got a grandson that's getting out of you know high school send them this video if you have a buddy anyone that you know that is just looking for another branch and is ready to make a move to something totally different or is you know a electrician or a plumber or a framer that wants to do something different my buddy used to be a framer for 20 years and now he's doing air conditioning okay they are not very related but he was ready to make a change you know he just was tired of framing uh, so now he's doing air conditioning and he's doing you know pretty well for himself so anyways that's it guys thank you for watching like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one